I'm talking about you siphoning off funds from your company's payroll and laundering it through your late uncle's trust fund. I've been DOIC codenamed Jan for so long, there's nothing of the real me left. I'm gonna pay it all back. Do you think your bosses will believe that? And how he supports your new little wife from prison. I don't think I can do this anymore. Ed! Ed, it's my glove! It's caught in the figure of eight! What do you want? Cat flag. How do you know about that? Only one copy of the program exists. We're well aware of the dangers if it should fall into the wrong hands. Leave Alex out of this. We know where she lives. It's only deaths on the roads these days. A moment of carelessness. Oh, wipeout. A young life tragically cut short. I uh, thought I saw someone down here, so I came to have a look. Then all the alarms went off. Do we have a deal? Or will you be in church for a funeral rather than a wedding? It's from tomorrow. There's no one between floors four and ten. We must be somewhere. That disc wasn't stolen by the invisible man. Maybe we're looking in the wrong direction. What? Well, maybe this was an inside job. There's no evidence to suggest that. So you can get that idea out of your head. Go down that way! Mosby, any sign of an intruder back there? No, nothing. I, I was just going to try the car park. Oh, whoever it is kind of got that far. They've activated the exit scanners. As soon as the disc's taken through one of the external doors, we'll have him. What's going on here? Someone's taking cat flap into the top level car park. I'll check it out. to the back of the head. All right, sir, leave it to us. She's lost a lot of blood. Donor card says she's AB negative. Has Dr Halifax been paid? On her way. Gunshot wound to the yeah, head. Yeah, straight in there. What have I done? Janet, it's not your fault. Well, it doesn't feel like that. Do we know anything about the weapons used? No, Dr Halifax. Check saturation. 
No exit wound. The bullet's still in there. Any idea where? Looks like it's in at the base of the brain. We won't know the extent of any brain damage for quite a while yet. Let's get a line in. We'll need a consultant. Get hold of Tom. Warn him we need the best there is ASAP. Right. Tell MRI we've got an emergency. Yes. What are our chances? We won't know until we've done some brain scans. When will that be? Angela, listen, my car's been stolen. Can you activate the inbuilt tracker for me? Thanks. Oh, and I'll need one of the pool cars. No, no need to inform them. I'll deal with this myself. Well, now the cat flap disc is out of the hive, every bank transaction in the world is at risk. It's a highly sophisticated program. Do you think this Weimark and Zephyr can operate it? They're computer experts. They'll take from the banks whatever they want. Then I'll coordinate the search from the hive. Uh, you'll want to stay at the hospital with Miss Henderson. No. No, I'm more use here. Well, if you feel you can concentrate. These people put Ros in hospital. I can concentrate. Now, what I need to know is everything about how this cat flap software works. Well, perhaps Miss Jordan could explain. Where is Miss Jordan? I'm picking up a tracker signal from somewhere. Another trap? Could be. I'll check it out. Guaranteed to leave Alex alone. You're in no position to ask for guarantees. Give it to me. I'm gonna have to call you back. Okay. Jan. Thank goodness you're here. It's Barbara now, not Jan. What? I've resigned. Is this because of what's happened to Ros? No, it's because of what's happened to me. I don't understand. I've become a liability to the service, Beckett. I can't trust myself anymore. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
I can't believe I'm hearing this. Look, I've made some bad operational decisions. A man has died, and now Raz... That was not your fault. I can't take any more people being hurt because of the decisions I make. Oh, great. So you're walking out on us because you feel sorry for yourself? This isn't like you, Jan. Barbara, it's Barbara! It's DOIC, Bureau Chief. You care more about the Bureau than anything else. No, no, not anything You're not thinking straight, Jan. What about all the good work you've done, everything you've created? What's going to happen to all that, eh? Someone else will do it. No, Jan. If you go, the Bureau goes too. Then maybe it's for the best. Goodbye, Beckett. Jan. Jan, you can't just walk out like this. What about Roz? Hey, what about Ed? What about me? When she wakes, I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. The key to a fortune. Unlimited access to the entire banking system. Diverting more money than we can dream of into our own accounts. not loading. Don't tell me this is another fake. No, it's all here. This is the cat flat program. So why won't it work? I'm running a diagnostic. I don't believe it. Not enough processing power to handle the program. Oh, dear. I don't know what's happened to Jen. She just walked out. But I may have got something on that program. I'm on my way to see the cat flat project manager. Think you less about it than your average bank clock. I well, don't know, banks just change the codes, so cat flap is useless. It took them four years to negotiate the current system, Ed. How's Roz? They're setting up the MRI now. The doctor said it'll be a while before they know enough to operate. Are you coming over? Soon. But I feel I owe it to Roz to get the people who did this, Ed. It's an unbelievable system. Catflap is simultaneously to encrypt and decrypt a huge number of different bank codes. Mother of all number crunches, eh? Yes, but it can only run on computers with a G5 chip operating at 3 gigahertz or above. Well, hang on. G5s aren't commercially available, are they? Not yet, but they've distributed some prototypes for evaluation. Well, how many prototypes, and do you know where they are? I don't know. You should check the manufacturer's web page. It's all on there. Traitor. 
Where are we? I'm not a traitor. You used one of my gizmos to steal Catflap. Then you took it straight to Wymac. I saw you. They gave me no choice. They said they'd kill you if I didn't get it for them. People make empty threats all the time. No, they knew about us. Where you lived, everything. I was scared. Why didn't you just tell me? That would have been the simplest thing. Oh, I didn't dare. Didn't want to lose you. Didn't know how you'd react if I came clean. So you just lied. You couldn't trust me. Not much of a basis for a lifetime of marriage, is it? What's that? It's the new G5 chip. If this can't run the program, nothing can. Great. Let's see if we can get our hands on one. I'll get online to our bank. They're contacting their bank. They must have found a way to use Catflap. Just the kind of bank I like dealing with. Everything's set up at any singer spike. No morals, no ethics, no questions asked. Where are these G5 chips? There are six sites. That one's a soft option. Let's hit it. What? Sitting around feeling sorry for yourself won't make things better. I've got to get out of here. Would someone come try to find us? Like Ed. He's always looking out for you, isn't he? Not this time. No one knows where we are. Alex, I'm sorry I lied. I was just trying to protect you. I don't need protecting. I need you to be honest with me. I'll never keep anything from you again, ever. I swear. You know when a man promises not to lie, it's a sure sign he's hiding something from you. Alex, I've told you everything. <laughs> so you know all about the phony trust fund, then? Wouldn't want a skeleton like that to get in the way of the wedding, would you? You make such a lovely couple. Trust fund? What's the situation with Ros? She's in the MRI now, the brain scanner. She should be in surgery within the hour. Are you sure there's nothing I can do there, Ed? No, Ros is still unconscious. I'll call you as soon as there's any news. Put it down in there. Dead. Oh. What's going on? A change of circumstances, Beckett. <clears throat> You're back under my command. What? I've just been appointed acting DOIC, and I'm taking charge of this Wymark situation. Armed guards are being deployed at each of the vulnerable sites that house G5 chip computers. Yeah, but if Wymark and Zephyr see your armed guards, they're just going to run for it. Good. We'll have stopped them using cat flap. No, no, no. We, we need to catch these people. I understand how you feel, but you mustn't let personal feelings cloud the issue. The old Jan may have encouraged your unorthodox approach, but now we'll do things my way. By the book. The whole point of Bureau 2 is that we operate outside of established procedures. Not any longer. I'm planning a thorough review of all Bureau operations. Your maverick days are over, Beckett. For good. Mother, Coral, 
This is Dr. Halifax. I thought you'd be operating by now. Mr. Chandra from the National Cerebral Injury Centre will be here any moment. Dr. Halifax says he's one of the best brain surgeons in the country. We've just taken a sequence of brain scans. As soon as the images are processed onto the computer, he'll have all the information he needs to remove the bullet. She will be all right. I mean, afterwards. The bullet's lodged near a vital nerve cluster. Even for someone as skilled as Mr. Chandra, I'm afraid there's no guarantee. He just collapsed. He's had these dreadful pains. Any history of chest pains? Oh. The bullet's lodged in the anterior fossa. Yes, sir about a centimetre from the hypothalamus. You'd like to see the MRI scans first? Please. Uh, you have the Superman version 2 here? Yes, sir. Along with the new G5 chip. Uh, taking good care of it. Something about a security scare. Nothing to do with us. Doctor, young man with chest pains, cubicle 6. OK. Where is he? Would you have to bribe to get these new chips? We're one of the beta test sites. Somebody knew someone. Hmm. Oh, I'll need these images rendered into 3D. Parts of them isolated and uh, enhanced as the operation progresses. Can you do that? Yes, I can feed them to the theatre in real time. Good. Poor girl's life depends on it. Hell, are they going to keep a computer powerful enough to know a cat flap? Neurology? Hi to you. I'm not. What a lovely hospital it's like, with no fun. As far as I can see, it's a hundred. There's no doubt. The optic asthma feels intact as well. Mrs. Anderson. I'm so sorry. Mr. Chandra will use a transphenoidal approach to the bullet. That is, via the nasal cavity. It's a brilliant technique. He can get right up into the base of the brain from underneath. None of the rest of the brain is disturbed. And Ros won't have any scars. Processing, that's where the computer is. Yeah, but how are we going to get past him? You should be getting everything you need now, sir. Mm. Are all the images ready? Yes, Mr. Chandra. Set up for real time processing. You can have whatever you want as soon as you ask for it. Ah, stand by, everybody. Showtime! When we're all quite ready, we've work to do. Places, everyone. Microscope power on, please. Do you mind? Rotate the image 90 degrees. Yes, sir. You can see the bullet. Are you with Chandra's team? No. We're on the winning team. Uh. Get online as quickly as you can. Right, I'm ready to penetrate this phenomenon. I've lost the scanner image. 
God outside the computer room either. Come on in. Thousands of transfers each minute. I've told the Caplac program to sift out all those involving sums over a hundred million. A hundred and fifty million. Come on, come on, come on. How can I work without the images? This young woman's running out of time! That's it. 150 million diverted into our account and then sing us rights. Let's go collect. Done! Go after them, I'll check the computer. Watch this! Can't do this blind. We may have to pull out and close up. Careful! Hey, hey, oh. wake up. You've got to help me restore the link to the theatre. Come on. You OK? Uh. Well, you've got the wrong programme. But this is super now. If I pull out now, is the ITU bed ready? Yes, Mr Chandra. now. This is the most crucial phase of the operation. I have direct visualization. It'll be a tough one to remove. Nobody move until we can see what we're doing. What the hell is happening today? It's all right. The emergency generators will kick in any second. What happened? They shut out the main power port. Looks like they've blown out the backup system too. Oh, no, look. It's Ross. We've got to override this system. We don't have time for this. Thank you. Perfect. We need the gloves. Why has the power come back on? Careful, Ed. Cover your eyes. On three. One, two, three. Thank God. Back to work. Good chance we can pull this one off. Ow! Oh, sorry. This is difficult. If you're going to make a career out of being a thief, you should keep practicing. That's not fair. You took money that wasn't yours. It's no different from what Weimark's doing. Listen. I convinced myself it was just an advance. The thing is, I thought you were out of my league. So I needed the cash to treat you right, to take you to decent places. But that kind of thing doesn't impress me. Well, I know that now. But when I first met you, I thought I needed an edge. So I borrowed a little bit, and then a little bit more. It became a habit I couldn't stop. And you invented this trust fund to conceal it? No, the trust fund is real. So there is an Uncle James? Yes. You'll meet him at the wedding. If there is a wedding. Just get on with it. One hundred and fifty million. That's how much Weimark and Zippo took. Of course, I'm tremors among the banks. Hey. Hello. Beckett. I was calling to see how Ros is. She's still in theatre. Oh, well done, Beckett. You've got the disc back. Saved our bacon. Well done. Weimark and Zephyr got away. I leave SSD to pick them up. The important thing is we've recovered Catflap. Then you can't just let them go. 
these people shot Ros. We've got to hunt them down. I appreciate your loyalty to your colleague. Pity Jan doesn't feel the same. Oh. She's left you all in the lurch. Hang on, then. That's not fair. Jan's paid her dues. She's devoted her life to the service. She's built the Bureau up from scratch to be the success it is today. If your record was half as good, then maybe, maybe, you'd have the right to criticise her, Dent. I think it's Sir uh, again, Beckett, don't you? This is what I was talking about earlier. The old Jan brazenly disregarded all departmental protocols. Protocols? What are you talking about? Maybe, but at least she got things done. The Bureau can't be a law unto itself anymore. I think a thorough reorganization may be called for. Well, great. If you want to fire me, send me a memo. Jan. And I'm changing the code name. If he's in charge, I quit. Been an idiot. And that just about sums it up. But I've never been in this situation before. What, chained to your fiance? No. I mean, you and me. What? Quickly. We have to tell Ed and Beckett which bank they've diverted the money to. Well, we don't know. I do. It's the Enzinger Schweitz. How'd you find out? I overheard them earlier. Come on. Hello? Jan. Alex. Why is no one at the Bureau? We have to stop Weimark. Dent's dealing with it. Dent? But does he know their target? I'm not sure. Um, I'm not really involved anymore, Alex. Weimark's using the Cat Flat program to transfer funds to the Enzinger Schweiss Bank. Call Ed and Beckett. They're at the hospital. Tell them everything. OK. What are you going to do? Uh, I'll talk to you later. If Weimark and Zephyr get away with that money, confidence in the banks will be destroyed. That's the danger. Banks rely on their customers' trust that they're secure. Break that trust and, well, the whole system will collapse. Exactly. Economic meltdown. Anything from Ensinger Schweiz? This is all I can get. This number is for account holders only. Please have your account number ready. I've tried the numbers here in Zurich and Lausanne. They don't know what to speak to people they can earn money from. And they're not so choosy where that's concerned. The World Banking Authority would love to have a look through their books. No wonder why Mark decided to use them. This entrance is for account holders only. Please state your account number. 8867. Thank you. Now input your personal identification number. Mr. Weimar. Please wait while security checks continue. Mr. Weimar. A pleasure. My name's Chichester. So rarely do we have the opportunity to meet our customers in person. Everything's in order. The transfer's been received and confirmed. 150 million. What is the, uh, limit on withdrawals? Limit, sir? There's no limit. No limit? It's your money. Take as much as you want. <laughs> Do you have a security van outside? Yes. Yes, of course. Oh. How well organised. <laughs> then you'll be taking... All of it. All of it. Apart from your commission, of course. Of course. Is she going to be all right? Well, the operation went well technically, in spite of the interruptions. But we can't tell what the long-term consequences will be just yet. What are her chances? Right now, 
I'd say her chances of a full recovery are no more than 50-50. We must hope for the best, but be prepared for the worst. Mixed currencies, dollars, euros and sterling, as you requested. Jolly good old boy. is for account holders only. Please state your account number. I'm from Bureau 2. I must speak to the manager urgently. This entrance is for account holders only. Please state You're your account You're being defrauded. Just open the door. It's another automated system. Can you put me through to someone real? Do not use cell phones in this area. Radio transmissions may disturb sensitive The manager's name is Donald Chichester. I brief the board, Ensinger Schweitz, and also the Exchequer. The Finance Minister is standing by to make an emergency statement, but hopes it won't be necessary. Well, what about the resignation? What resignation? Please wait while security checks. Stand still! Where is Mr. Chichester? I'm Donald Chichester. I'm DOIC. These are my colleagues from Bureau 2. Thank you. A crime is in progress on your premises. That's quite impossible. Our security procedures are impregnable. Oh, really? A guy called Wymark is using you to steal a fortune. It's our policy never to discuss our clients. If this fraud is successful, there will be financial chaos in the banking world. And your bank will be the cause. And then you can kiss your clients goodbye. Mr. Weimark has closed his account and is no longer on the premises. to run. Give it up. Come on, come on. Why 
climb up. Don't be a fool, there's no way out. Oh, yes, there is. This thing could go faster than you think. Oh, it's Jen. See if you can free it. Get on to Dent. They'll need him down here. Someone's gonna have to pick up all that money. Don't you want to marry me, then? Of course I do. But you don't want to marry me, do you? We'll pay all the money back. I'll still lose my job. There are other jobs, Adam. I should never have tried to impress you. I've been a complete idiot. Yep. But you're my idiot. That'll be the anaesthetic. It'll wear off. Anything missing? Only your common sense. No change there. This has all been like a dream. Hello, Rose. It says you're going to make a full recovery. But it's going to take some time. Well, I was unfit for the wedding. She's late. She just wants to make a grand entrance. so bad yourself. Are you all right? Shouldn't I be asking you that? I'm fine. No last minute change of mind. Alex, there's something, there's something I've been meaning to say. Yes? I'm really touched. You asked me to give you away. I miss it. How could I miss it? 
Alex, this is... Uh, Stefano? Hmm, an old friend from university. Didn't think you'd be able to make it. Stefano, this is Alex, my wife. <laughs> I just love weddings. Nice to meet you. They always make me want to cry. Yeah, me too. Of course, when I get married, I want the full works. A white church, big dress, coach and horses. <laughs> More bucks fizz, anyone? Oh, I bet a lot goes straight to my head. <laughs> Don't say that. Adam, what? I... Meant to be circulated. I just need a quick word in private. Is Ross all right? Yeah. The doctor seems to think she's making a textbook recovery. That's not what I meant. Yeah. Beckett, can I have a word? Certainly, yeah. Excuse me, just for a moment. There's something very funny going on with Adam. Look. See my husband. Oh, so weird saying that. <laughs> He's dead. Who are you? What do you want? Why, Nick? Surely that's no way to speak to an old friend. I thought you were dead. Well, you were misinformed. Surely you must realize by now, you and I have some unfinished business. Ha, ha, ha. 